3D printers are thought to be the future of cooking. This machine will either make your mouth water or your stomach turn. For me, it's the second of those two. I'm Michael McCrudden talking about the Fudini here for you on IO. The company behind the Fudini, who hope to have this on shelves next year, they believe that the last revolution in the kitchen had happened with the microwave, and the next revolution, it's all about the Fudini. Just imagine you're sitting at home and you dream of a burger, some hash browns, pizza, or ravioli, but you're too lazy to put in the hard work. Well, that's when the Fudini comes into play. You type into the computer whatever your imagination can come up with, providing you have the right ingredients the Fudini takes over and begins to pump out the product. From there, you then have to take it and cook it yourself, either bake, boil, or microwave. Wait, 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 this doesn't sound as convenient as I first thought. What if you don't have the right ingredients? Well, then you have to go and buy the cartridges that you pop into the machine, kind of like buying ink for a printer, and we all know how big of a scam those printers are where you buy a printer for cheap, but then the ink costs you hundreds, month after month, it kills me. But there's good news, if you don't have a cartridge and you don't have the ingredients, well, you can mince it up, chop it up yourself, and then throw it in. But then why not just cook the meal? The product isn't cheap. It sells roughly for around $1,500, and you gotta add in ingredients. Wow, being lazy costs so much money. With all that being said, the Fudini is actually really cool. You can see video of it in action. This isn't the first revolutionary idea to come out of 3D printing. In 2011, a car was rolled off of a 3D printer, as well as a gun was made that was able to shoot bullets. On an even more fascinating note, they're using this for stem cell research because they want to start creating organs, that way we don't have to do transplants, they can just create them in a machine, not in a foodini, something different. Right now they're already making arteries including teeth and ears. Well although I'm not convinced yet about the foodini, there are people in 30 different countries who have lined up and have already placed an order. The product, it's about the size of a microwave and there are some people out there who are interested in setting up businesses where it's all 3D food, that's all you get. I'm thinking that might happen out in Japan. But who knows what the future holds? Maybe we'll be having Thanksgiving dinner and it's all coming out of a supercomputer. If you want more information and you think you might want a Fudini for yourself, you can check out the links down below. But I want to know what you think. Are you interested in perhaps eating this kind of food? People give McDonald's a hard time because it's not real food. But then when it's getting made at home and they're making guns out of the same kind of device, it seems really artificial to me. Would you eat this stuff? Let me know. I'm Michael McCrudden and I'm looking forward to the day when I can print a living, breathing 3D girlfriend.